Before we start today's video, I want to tell you about some wallets I've been testing out for about three weeks now from the brand Exter. I have two of their wallets actually here, the Parliament wallet and the aluminum card holder, and each feature that absolutely addictive fidgety button there that pops your cards out, kind of fans them out actually, which is not only super sweet, but again, super fidget worthy. I mean, I could sit here and do this over and over and over. It's so much fun. Until three weeks ago, actually, I used, you know, this the standard leather wallet, one that I've used to, you know, since I started carrying it, which I never realized was really that bulky and full of stuff that I don't need to carry every day. This one here allowed me to cut all that and just downsize to a thinner profile. And out of the two, the aluminum card holder has been the one that I've used the most out of the past three weeks. And the materials on it seem super functional and durable. It's a nice space grade aluminum that includes RFID blockers in there. And I've been using it every day, like I said, and there's been no issues with it. It's been functional and nothing's really stopped working. The button seems to work just fine. And trust me, I've clicked it about a bajillion times. I've been sitting here playing with it. And really, there's just been no issues here. It's got room for all my cards, got my driver's license there in the holder, and then cash goes on the opposite side. The Parliament one, too, functions about the same, except it has a different design. It can actually hold more stuff. And I really like that one as well. But on top of that, they also offer this awesome little trackable card. You can slip it right into the wallet there, and that makes it trackable in case of lost or stolen, which is definitely not something that I had with my old wallet. Overall, I have been very impressed with this brand and their wallets. I never thought I'd change from leather wallets. I've only ever used them since I began carrying a wallet, and these made the change very easy for me. And if you want to check them out, I will leave a link to the extra shop where you can currently find a 20% off sale. So I highly recommend you run over and check these out. Now though, on to today's episode. What is happening guys, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're looking at our final product from the King Brown lineup, the Cream Pomade. And according to the brand, this is a water-based cream that they say is a modern, fresh take on the lightweight products of yesteryear. Officially, they do list this as a light to medium hold with natural presence, a natural sheen, and a fresh scent of native Australian lemon myrtle and sandalwood. It's also listed on their site for $20 US for 2.6 ounces. Inside the jar now, we've got a nice and lotiony looking cream. I mean, it's quite thin in the consistency that, as you can see here, it almost actually pours out of the tin, but it doesn't quite pour out. There's a little movement there, but it's not like liquid thin, so it doesn't really come out like water. But once it's in the hand, it breaks down fairly easily. But if you're not careful, you could also end up taking too much because it is so thin, which it might look like here as I'm putting it in my hair that I did take too much, but as you can see after it enters my hair, it's it's actually not. It's not too much because this one doesn't have a huge presence in the hair. It's very lightweight, so my thick hair does need more product. So with this one, I had to use about two large scoops, and with that, we can see there's a good helping of shine, a lot more shine than actual hold, I'd say, which to be fair, does lend a helping hand in the form of control. So there's a combination of hold and control going on there, which makes combing and sculpting super easy, which led to this final result. Here's now a look at the end of day results here. This is four hours in actually. So not the usual endurance test because as you can see, it was just it was just time to call it on this one. It pretty much was done at this point. You can see that it still has that shine there, but my hair is totally kinked up. There's not much direction. It, it, it kind of looks ran over at this point, I have to say. I can make it look a little better if I restyle it, but not, not too much to be honest. It just kind of lost some power there. The lights just kind of went out on this one. So after doing all the testing on this product, I can see what they were shooting for on the pomade. I think also overall they were able to achieve it. They wanted this lightweight cream pomade and that's what they have here. They got something that's good and shiny and lightweight, but the issue as you could see was it just didn't have enough to really keep things going for my hair. I mean it had a more than decent initial result. I don't have much to criticize with the styling and in the initial results, but as you saw in the endurance test it just didn't hold 
hold up very well, but I do think if you have a different hair type than me, you might have a different experience with the hold. Lastly now here, the scent for me was a, a, a bit off. I didn't quite get the notes that they listed. I got something more in line with like a, a banana or something like that. It really wasn't my cup of tea, but thankfully in the hair, it's not super dominant. It wasn't super strong. And as for the washout, I found it definitely needing shampoo. It for sure did not come out with water that shine, you know, it really stuck around. So it needed one good shampooing for sure. But like I said in the past, for me, that's not a huge deal since I shampoo every day anyway. That though is what I see with the cream pomade from the King Brown line. And as usual, the final verdict is up to you. And if you'd like to check this out or anything else from this brand, there will be a link in the description. And while you're there, make sure you do the usual for me, like, comment, subscribe. That's all very important. And I thank you in advance for doing that. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.